What's up guys? So today I'm supposed to be doing 10 sets of 10 pulls and dips. I'm a little bit worn out from all the training I've done this week, Gymshark live stream. I, I was meant to have a class today as well, but that hasn't gone ahead for whatever reason. I'm gonna do as many as I can. It's, I think it's about half 11, is it about half 11 now? Yeah, it's like... It's about half 11. Oh. 10 to 12. It's 10 to 12. So what that means is I basically have, if I leave one every hour, then I'll be doing things till 10 o'clock tonight, which I don't want to do. I want to finish by about eight. So that means I need to claw two sets back as I make two hours somehow in the process, which means I vaguely have to do it every 45 minutes. I also have a client later. So that's an hour. So I need to be careful about that as well and try and keep my uh, get ahead. What are you doing, Danny? I think I'm doing cleans, but I don't know how many I'm going to be able to do. Are those the new Metcons, Danny? <laughs> yes. They're perfect, though. Very cool. Oh, they're cozy. <laughs> It's an incredibly windy day today, so I'm gonna bring the pull-up bar and the dipping bars inside, and that way every time that I leave the, the office to come and like get a drink or go to the loo or have lunch or blah, 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 the dipping bars and the pull-up bar are gonna be sitting there waiting for me, so I'm constantly reminded of what I need to be doing. Smart. Right guys, so I was a bit unsure about what to talk about in today's vlog. I've been really busy doing videos for Stoke Pool, for More Than Lifting. I've been editing videos like crazy. It's like quarter to five like in the afternoon now and I hadn't really done anything. So I was really kind of, I, I, I was very, really much looking for inspiration for kind of today. And one of the things that really affects me is my organization and the more the better organized that i can be the more effective i can be in playing all the roles in my business it's, it's, it's my business is essentially because being self-employed like i work for myself i'm the only person and i need to stay on top of everything and so i need to manage myself in doing that so that i can perform every day like not just like fitnessy stuff or like anything but i can coach and i can edit videos and I can do social media and I can make sure I'm writing stuff for the website and I'm running the state pool and I'm troubleshooting things like, that, like all the servers and I'm organizing my clients and organizing my time, my finances and blah, 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 like a thousand things. One of the key things, which is really important, is this. So I've got a Pro 11, I think. It doesn't tell me here. Uh, and before I used to use Samsung's, uh, and now I don't, now I've got this. I don't really like it for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons that I prefer the Samsung over this, but it doesn't matter. That's a different conversation. <laughs> so one of the main things is to keep your home screens organized. Yeah, so we gotta make sure that what you have on your home screens is, is it the only things that you need? And I love that Apple have now done this because with the Samsung, you've been able to do this since like the beginning. They have a whole menu page with just apps. So now this obviously exists. Before, that didn't exist for iPhone, everything was just on the thing, you had to organize into folders, which I still do. But now what I do is I have a different page for a different aspect of my life. Let's talk about that. You're talking to me? No, I'm practicing. <laughs> Danny was singing, but under her breath, so she was like whispering. And then I call her. Wait, are you coming to do your reps? Yes, 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 but wait, wait. You need to send a message, you need to send a message. So Danny's joining me in my rep challenge today. She's not doing pull-ups and dips though. She's doing kettlebell swings and push-ups, I think. I'll have to double check with her in a second. <laughs> <laughs> one, of them, one of those things there, guys, which are the things. So, the first page, the first 
stage is just my normal phone things. I need to unlock my phone again. So I've got my camera, yeah, which I use all the time. I've got, what else have I got? I've got my clock. I've got maps because I live in London. If I need to go places, it's easier just to find it on a map. I can also check um, train times and what's the other one? Buses, <laughs> buses, etc. I've got WhatsApp. I've got Habitica, my, my organizing time, my to-do list thing. I have our people, which is for um, coaching, basically. Uh, I've got Audible, which is the best way to read books, hands down. Like It's the best thing. I love Audible. It's amazing. I've got like 60 books and I've got like four credits sitting there waiting. So if you've got any inspiration for Audible, we'll talk about it in another video. The other thing I've got is my finances because self-employed need to manage my finances. I've got multiple things like PayPal, like my bank my cards, my all my different accounts and stuff, or like my, my stuff for my business income stuff, all, all together in one place, one folder, bam, finances there, front page. Then I've got social media stuff. Yeah, so I've got photos, I've got YouTube, I've got my pictures, I've got docs, which I use all the time. I've got all my social profiles in a folder here so I don't get distracted by them. Then I've got CoSchedule, Canva, Kinemaster for video editing. I've also got John Lewis here. Now the reason I've got John Lewis here is because I really want to get the new Xbox and you can't get it anywhere. But John Lewis did have it available a couple of times and I just wanted to be able to get that last minute. I actually did it once whilst I was coaching, <laughs> whilst I was coaching the gym. Um, I actually was sitting there on John Lewis trying to buy the Xbox, <laughs> the Series X. <laughs> that's, a, that's a different story as well. The third and final page is all my crypto things. So I've got my Delta, which is what I used to track my accounts. I've got all my exchanges and um, electronic wallets all available in one folder just by here. I also have, what is it? Ada Pools and Pool Tool, which are both Cardano pool uh, explorers, like apps, which you can use to check up on your own pool and other people's pools. So that is great resource for people who are staking Cardano. Uh, and I've got Telegram, which I use purely for the crypto uh, to communicate with other SBO staple operators and other people in crypto. I just communicate with them on Telegram. And that's it. Nothing else. All right, I'm not distracted by, uh, like, for me to go and get distracted by social profiles, I need to open my phone. I need to go to the next page, like this. I need to actually click on this little folder here and then choose the social profile. It's not very easy to do that. The only downside to that is posting when I'm on the fly doesn't really happen. Like I don't really pick up my phone and think, oh, I need to post to social media, which is the only downside of doing this. But I do not go looking through Instagram, looking through Twitter, looking through Facebook on anything like that on my phone, just do not do it. That's a great hack. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's literally it, guys. I open my phone, everything is pointing to being productive. Oh throwing my phone around bam do something that's my life organization page then i've got social media business organization page and john lewis and then i've got cryptocurrency organization page that's it everything else lives in here do not open it do not open stuff like i don't and if i need something specifically i'll just search it in there in the app library i don't go rummaging around my phone or anything like that it's really important to do something like this. This isn't, a, this isn't the perfect solution, guys. There are ways that you will have to apply this to your own life, and it's very important to do that. Figure out a way that you can actually do what's important for you so you can make sure that you have what's important to you on show all the time on your phone because you look at it 100 times a day when you're responding to other people's messages, when you get a notification, just pick up your phone, bam, what's there? You know, And that's another reason that changing your screensaver and your desktop image is a great thing. Like this is me doing a crazy handstand. Um, that's just so I can identify my phone at any point. Like no one has that image. Because <laughs> no one can do a handstand like that. Like, I don't know a lot of people who can do handstands like this. Can you? Can you do that? Probably not. All right, so I know instantly that's my phone. If it's around the gym, it's in like a pile of other phones at a gym or whatever. I used to have saying. So what I used to do was put like things that I wanted to see all the time as my screensaver here. It wouldn't be my home screen, like I'd have something like this personal to me as my home screen, um, but I would, well, as soon as I unlock my phone like this to check my notifications, it, I would have a message. And this is like a really good productivity thing or like a mindset thing. Like I'd have things like, um, 
little phrases, stuff that I'd, I'd just make it in Canva. And then I just put something that I read in some book that like really rings true to me, you know, like some little saying, not like cutesy little things, more things like pull your finger out, do the work or like something like that. And that wasn't one, but just as an example, like stuff to motivate me to work harder, to stay focused, you know, and it would be something like that. And that's something else to consider as well. You like, this is a tool. This is not just something you hold in your pocket to scroll through Instagram and watch it on Netflix while you're traveling. All right, guys, this is a very, very powerful computer. Use it to your advantage, use it to stay organized, use it to manage your life rather than let it run your life. Most people's phones run their lives. Yeah, I know loads of people who are just like on their phone all the time. And recently, because my businesses have been just so crazy, I've been like that as well. And it's wound Danny up a little bit, which I completely agree. But I'm, uh, when I'm doing this, I'm doing it to be productive. I'm not doing it just to waste time. I have done in the past, like the first load of lockdowns, I got really involved in YouTube, which I'd never been into before. And I just got like obsessed, like absorbed in YouTube. Um, so I get why that could wind someone up. And it winds me up no end when people are just wandering around like, responding to people like people calling out for your attention whether it's a notification on facebook or instagram or twitter or emails or anything like that literally winds me up no end but if you're using it to be productive make sure you set it up to be productive make sure you set it up in a way that's actually serving you rather than controlling you which happens with a lot of people all right guys that's it for today just like a little little long video that's probably been like a good six minutes or something of me talking about organizing your life organizing your phone but it's super super important all right guys so just have a think about it and try and apply this to your life so that you can be more productive and yeah basically be more organized i'll catch you in the next one Right guys, it's half seven. And as you can see from that, I am miles behind on my pull-ups and dips. I've done 50 of each, but I've got 50 more to do. And I don't have a lot of time to do it. I think if you remember back to what I said earlier, I wanted it done by eight, which means I've got 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes to do 50 pulls and 50 dips. I literally did a set probably about five minutes ago <laughs> before I sorted out the dishwasher. So like, yes, it's an uphill battle. Somehow I've got to figure this out. Only 40 more to do. I've got five minutes left. All right, guys, I got the mic back in. That's them done, done, da, da. So what I did as well is, because obviously the last few were uh, left a bit to be desired, is I did an extra rep of each. It's still very much a struggle, but because I know someone's gonna probably call me out on it, and fair enough, because uh, I really did struggle to get my head over the bar. So I did an extra rep of each at the end, just to whoosh, whoosh, double count, okay. double count. <laughs> oh, lesson to be learned from this. When I'm doing these 100 reps a day and I don't carve out specific training time for me, I need to sit down, specific training time, then what I need to do is set a proper time and be actually very, very kind of diligent about getting the first kind of 50 or 60 in. So that if I get distracted by work later in the day or if something happens, which kind of puts me off course, I'm already well ahead. That's it. That's it, because I can't afford another 7.37 and I still have 60 reps to do. I've just made it before eight o'clock. So that's 60 reps of each pulls and dips in like 23 minutes, which is pretty decent. And now my upper body is ready for bed. 